Hello adventurers and welcome to the demo for research story. This is another farming and life sim that I have been watching and wanting to share with you guys. I'm so excited they have a demo out for Steam Next Fest. You'll get to play your first week in Shimmerbrook, farm, tame creatures, meet NPCs, submit your research to the archive. While the day counter will stop, you'll be able to keep playing, so need no need to rush. Nice. Some features and content are limited. That totally makes sense for a demo and there is a save system but it's likely that it won't be carried over to the live version, so don't get too invested in your demo version. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to see the options. Any options? Full screen graphics, audio, controls. You can rebind controls. We love to see it. We love to see it. And let's go ahead and get in. I'm excited to see what research story is like. The Violet Archive is seeking an inquisitive individual to help with the research of plants and creatures that have been appearing around Shimmerbrook. This already appeals to me as a biologist. <laughs> we have received word that you might be interested in such a role. If so, please accept this invitation by following the instructions as attached. Lodging will be provided. With regards, Valley Ashrian, head archivist of the Violet Archive. Click to accept. Sign me up. Oh, okay, we get a little bit of customization. Of course, we're gonna go with our name first. And I am light skinned, so I'm gonna go with light skin here. Hair color, pink, <laughs> as always. And oh, I love the little double pigtails. Let's go, create. Begin your journey as a researcher. Oh, here we go, Pixel, you guys know. Oh, look at the art. Greetings, Rosalind, this is Valley. I'm Valley, head archivist, and your mentor for research. Happy to have you on board from today onwards. First off, welcome to your new home. Well, not that new, technically. It does come furnished, though. There should be some farmer's tools from the previous occupant lying around somewhere. You can start by finding those. Let me know once you've gotten some tools. Quest recorded. Press Q for your quest log. I'm going to go ahead and move myself down here to the bottom corner. We've got our calendar and our money and our weather up in the left. We've got our quests up in the top right. We've got an energy bar, which is <laughs> it's got a little smiley face by it, down in the bottom left. And then we've got our inventory and hot bar down here on the bottom in the middle of our screen. I love this cute little chibi. Chibi, look, interact, left click. Can we interact with the sign? Don't wander too far. The tools should be right around here. Perhaps they were kept in the house. Okay, I just wanted to check the sign to see if I could interact with things. I'm assuming we have a shipping bin? Yes. Sell items and receive payment at 6 a.m. daily. Okay, cool. What about mail? You can check both new and old letters from your mailbox. I like that, that you can see old letters too. Townsfolk are more likely to send mail if you have a good relationship with them. Makes sense. Let's check inside the house. Nice little start here. Let's grab those tools. Old farmer's tools. You can equip tools from the toolbox. The toolbox icon is to the right of the hotbar. And we're going to get a run through of all of the tools here. It looks like we've got the typical control and scroll <laughs> to switch. So you can also just click here and choose a, a tool. I really like that. Okay, let's just do do the hoe for now. You can also have an empty hand, which I think is really nice. You found them, great. Let's see, one more thing you'll need, a research journal. Yay! Press J to open your journal. Nothing recorded yet. So we have flowers and herbs, vegetables and fruits, animals and monsters. Yay, that's so exciting. Valley, what else can you teach us? You'll be able to record your observations of plants and creatures in that journal. The best way to learn is to do it. Here, I've written down some steps for plant research. It includes observing a plant and then successfully growing one. As for creatures, it'll involve taming and raising them. Luckily, Ray, the village druid, has agreed to help out in that regard. She lives in the plains. Do check with her to get started. Also, drop by the archive at the south side of town when you have some time. I'd like you to meet the rest of the researchers as well. Go forth, researcher! I'll be at the archive if you need anything. Cool beans! So we've got our own little farm here. Quest recorded. Ah, inventory is E. So we have research profile. Hmm, no map yet. And a lot of people to find. I love that their gifts are also included on their little sheet here. So once you figure out what they love, you can make sure to have that recorded so you never forget. I wonder if someone will give us a map. And inventory research, empty slot. So maybe we'll have three things that we can research at a time in depth. And of course our inventory. We have a crafting menu. Nice. All right, we have, looks like furniture, maybe pet foods, 
plant related things and maybe farming or fencing related things. Interesting. Very nice. Very nice. We have mail. Shipping box. If you'd like to sell any goods, you can do it right outside your home using the handy shipping box. Place the goods in there. We'll buy every day at 6 a.m. Please note that once sold, we're unable to do any returns. The general store. I already love the music. North or it's the plains. East is cliffside. South is town. All right. Let's take a look at the farm, guys. Ooh, I'm getting Harvest Moon DS vibes from this, and I'm all for it, because I played the crap out of my DS and Harvest Moon. Looks like we'll need our, our handy-dandy scythe here to get through a few of these. Let's see. Ooh, we got some items to pick up as well. We're gonna have to take some down some trees so we can get through this entire farm. We've got a really nice-looking size plot here to work with. Let's get to exploring around uh, Shimmerbrook and see who we can say hello to. A chicken! At the chicken! Oh, he gave me a feather. How oh, nice! A research sample. As a researcher, you'll come across plants and creatures that can be further observed. By observing, you'll learn how to grow or tame them. Ah! Press E to open the inventory and drop the sample onto the magnifying glass. You can start with three. Okay, I was right! So if we go to our inventory, we can go here to our feather and bring it here. Oh, not the research tab, but this one right here. And that brings it to a slot on the research tab. During research, hold left click on a plant or creature to start observing. Hold right click to bring up its journal entry. Research can be paused at any time from the research tab. Your progress is saved, but you require a new sample to continue research next time. It says this is what you're researching and this is what you need to do. Observe one time, chain a chicken, raise its happiness, and obtain a produce. Can we observe? Observe. Observe long enough. Let's see. There we go. You observed a chicken. Records are updated. Let's see what it says. Animals, a common fowl. Dropped items. So we have a feather and I'm assuming an egg. Diet of seeds, unknown information, and then locations here. That's really, really cool. Research in progress. Let's take a look at our quests. Find a plant sample by foraging, find and talk to Ray, and visit the Violet Archive. Ooh, can we research this plant? Research. Okay, chamomile. Let's add that to our research book. Observe one times, grow and harvest a chamomile. Cool. Little tree house here. Does anybody live here? Establishments. You've entered an establishment. Some establishments, such as shops, have counters. You can talk with the townsfolk over the counter or behind the counter for different interactions. Hi! Hello, what are you looking for today? Ooh, this is called the tree house. These are bowls creature food. I was right on the, on the mark there. A creature pen, a home for a tamed creature. And then some crafting recipes. Thank you and come again. Is this Ray? Hi, you're new here. I'm Ray. Yes! My name is Rosalind. You must be the creature researcher then. Nice to meet you, Rosalind. So, you must have heard. Recently, more creatures have been showing up around Shimmerbrook. Some are native, while others have never been seen around these parts. Due to this change, us druids have decided to support the research efforts of the Archive. We wish to learn more about these creatures, while keeping a balance in the region. So, what's my role, Ray? Well, you'll need to record the characteristics and behaviors of various creatures. You can begin research using a creature sample. Samples come in many forms, from dropped feathers to shedded furs. You'll need to observe, tame, and raise creatures while recording what you've learned. Following so far? Yeah, I'm super excited. Excited for you to start as well. When taming creatures, we can gain their trust by feeding them what they like. I have some feed here that'll help you get started. Yay! Place one near a creature, and if it likes it, you can take the chance to tame it. Come to me again when you've managed to tame one. I'll share more about raising them then. Seed bowl, yes! Okay, hold left click while I was eating to tame an animal. Okay, let's go test it on the chicken. Ah, tab to hold. All right, let's place it by our chicken here. Don't go away, chicky. Here we go. And then we left click. Yes, we got him. You tamed a chicken. Please give it a name. Of course, we're going to call it chicky. Chicky, press enter to confirm. And we now have a chicky friend. Cool beans. Let's keep exploring. Oh, it's a kitty with a plant head. Hello. Hello. You need to start research on this creature before you can observe it. Press R to check your research log. We have to find something that it's dropped, maybe? Leafy furball. Ah! Okay. So now we can go... Research. 
sprout kitten. Observe one times, tame them, and raise its happiness and obtain produce. Where did it go? There you are. Hello. I want to observe you. You observed a sprout kitten. Records are updated. Cool. Okay, this is the monster category. He eats eggs and meat. Ah, so we'll have to start working with our chicken to be able to tame the sprout kitten next. Let's see if we can't meet any more villagers. Oh, here's somebody. Let's go say hi. Hello. Greetings. You're the one who just moved here, right? Name's Theo. Nice to meet you, Theo. Are you gathering wood as well? Here's a tip. Only coniferous trees in the woods to the north produce resin, which have a variety of uses. It's one of nature's gifts, really. How cool. All right, so they're teaching us some stuff. Can I observe this chamomile? Here we go. We learned how to forage chamomile seeds. Records are updated. Very nice. Okay, now we can pick it. Nice. Forage is a seed. You can plant these and remember that some crops only grow under certain conditions. Yes. Thank you for the feather. Thank you for the feather, Kiki. Let's see. Who else can we talk to? Oh, look at this cute little town. Oh, this location is not available in the demo. You'll have to wait until next time. What about this one? What does this say? Reserved for residential building. Ooh, so we might have other townsfolk move in? That would be really cool. Okay, looks like we have a town hall here. Let's see. Ooh, it's a library, maybe. Let's say hello. There's Valley. Oh, this is the archive. Okay. If you haven't met the others, do go say hi. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Who is this? Hello. Oh, you've got cute little horns. Hi there. I'm Suo. Su Suwe. Su Suwe. 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 I was right. Suwe. I'm fine either way, though. I record for topics related to rocks and minerals. Maybe we'll get to find some caves in the mountains, too. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. How cool! This is so interesting to me, and I, I, I want to play this so bad because of the collector in me. Complete the quest, meet the researchers first. Oh, are there more people in here to see? Oh, here's another person. Hi! Hello, I'm Ira. My name is Rosalind. Nice to meet you. I'm the cartographer and librarian in the archive, and sometimes I help Valley with other tasks as well. Speaking of which, I recently made a few copies of the local map. Yes, Ira's gonna give us a map. Thank you, Ira. Town map. Press M to open it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, so we can drag and move the map around. I love that. I'm hoping they add when you hover over buildings, it tells you what that location is and who might live there, just like Core Island does. That'd be fantastic. And then we've got our little farm up here. What else have we got? This is Ray's home. So we've got some wild areas as well. Oh, I'm so excited for this entire game. Oh, let's go back and talk to Valley. I think we've met everybody here. See, so you've met the rest of them. This is your official welcome to the Violet Archive. Hope you can learn well from one another. Once again, we're happy to have you on board. Feel free to enter and leave the building when we're open. I'm still arranging some of the shelves, but yours should be ready soon. I'll conclude our introductions for now. Thanks for joining us. We're official. That means we can get... Oh, cheeky. I trait greedy. I didn't know that. Okay. Happiness. You've got a bond. Keep the creature happy to raise its bond with you. A trait of greedy. Bond increases faster if its pen is near five or more grown crops. Mm -hmm. Increase bond to unlock a perk. And then it says what the need is. This creature needs a home and it was not fed yesterday. We'll have to remember that. Oh, it's getting late. Is there anybody else that we can say hi to? General store, the book, the shield, and the sword. Adventures are built on knowledge. The great adventure here. I like that. Nice. Oh, we got a community board too. Some notices on the on the board. The art of making. Ever wondered how to build your own fences? Well, wonder no more. We asked our resident woodworker Theo on this process, and this is what he shared. Of course, we believe any high quality furniture should be sourced from a woodworker like Theo himself. Learned how to craft a wood fence. Very nice. Very nice. Looks like it's getting dark. Let's make our way back to the farm so we can get some good rest and do a little bit more exploring the next day. Rest until nighttime. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. Nocturne. Oh, I love that. Okay, okay. This might be the new favorite game. <laughs> some creatures only come out at night while others are during the day only. No when to find them. Oh. So do we not have to worry about sleeping? Oh, 
Oh, that would be so cool. Hold left click to chop. Oh, I like that. And no flash, no screen uh, shaking or anything like that. That's so enjoyable for me. There aren't many barriers that I've seen yet in this game to accessibility. Some, oh, we're fatigued. Your actions are slowed. Eat some food to regain energy. Got you. Press tab to hold an item in the space bar to consume. You can also rest in bed to recover energy till nighttime or the next day. Oh, so it just slows down. Okay. I like that, that it doesn't stop you, but it, it does change your efficiency. That's a really cool mechanic. I really, really like that. Rather than saying, oh, you're done for the day, you can't do anything else. It, you can continue to work, but you have to be aware that you're going to be slower. Ah, 2 a.m. It's getting late. Okay, so they do tell you to go get some rest. Interesting. I like that. Go to sleep for the night. Yep. Wake up in the morning. Fresh and ready. Oh, we've got a friend. Suey. Good morning, Rosalyn. I've been seeking out caves around Shimmerbrook the last couple of days. We found our first one. There were some critters in there, which might be relevant to your research. We also found a relic that had some writing on it. Valley will look into it when she can, but if you find anything else, let us know. As for the cave, Theo and I have made it more accessible so you can enter and exit safely. Let me just mark it on your map. It's a stone's throw away from your place, actually. See you around then. I'll probably study the cave more deeply in the next few days as well. Ooh, cool beans. New quest and some mail. Simple storage. I was working on some furniture blueprints and thought this might be useful to you. Happy crafting. What'd we get? Oh, crafting recipe chest. Okay. How do I... I want to use. Yes. Can use? Can do? Yes. Okay, craft. Want to make. I have 60 locks. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Maggie's come to check me. Hi, little girl. How do I craft? I want to craft... A chest. Ah, okay. Right click to craft all. I'm gonna go ahead and make two. So you put your little materials down here at the bottom. I see. Okay, can I just place my chests anywhere? Oh, I sure can. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's do one here and one here. And let's go ahead and put some of our stuff away here. Now, let's take a look at our map. Where is this cave? I want to see the cave. Is this it? Oh, I see a little sparkly. Is that what it is right there? I think so. Let's go check it out. Ooh, here it is. Let's check it out. Ooh, okay. We got some goodies. I hope they do a music change in here. I would love to have a change of environment as you switch places. Circular dents in the ground after sundown. A content cave critter will unveil what lies deeper. Ooh. Interesting. So we have to befriend a critter in here to be able to go down to the next level. I like the sound of that. Let's take a look at our quest log. So I like how it has the character art here and it gives us a description of what we need to do. And then it gives us even more information if we click on it. It also shows on the map if there's a main quest or a side quest. That's what that little shimmery yellow icon was that we saw here in front of the cave. And it also tells us if we've got a timed quest. Thankfully, these are all like story quests. So we don't have to rush or worry about a time limit. I'd love to meet some of the other villagers. Looks like we have one, two, three more to, to discover here in the demo. I love the character art and I love the different personalities so far. Everyone seems so welcoming and it's cool to have a, a common goal that everyone's here doing the same thing, but they're in their own specialties. I think that is so fantastic and encouraging because you don't see a lot of games that are very science related. And I love the spin on this. Absolutely love the idea of research as a farming and life sim game. Don't forget to head over to Steam and wishlist research story. This one is one I want to come back to and play even more of. This just like perfect combination of biology and farm sim. And it's just, ah. Uh, it makes my heart flutter. Check out another video from me right here on the screen and I will see you guys next time. Bye.